Hello everybody, my name is SkillsXSkills27, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Agrarian Skies. Now, I hope this is working, I hope my recording is finally going to work, because I've been recording for the past hour, probably, doing a bunch of cool stuff, as you can see with my inventory, and lagging a lot, and turns out it was all for nothing, because my recording bugged out again. Still don't know why. Still don't know why. But I made a bunch of machines. I made a pulverizer and two in redstone furnaces. Because we've been working for the past little bit on applied energistics. Isn't that neat? Now, whoa, that's going fast. What? Oh, that was just a lag. I guess that was just a lag, making it go extremely fast. But anyway, um, so. What I did off camera was I explained this in my recording, but I guess I have to explain it again. Was I um was I did this. Yeah. I used my flight potion and made a stairway down there. I made a mob farm down there using using um conveyor belts. And we and I also made a platform underneath us. Right down there, underneath us, right down there where we've got a bunch of cool stuff going on um, it will catch hopefully it'll catch our our items when we die because when we fall we're gonna land on it die from fall damage I think but hopefully our items will survive and as well I put some moss on these guys the beast number two and the alamite pickaxe which both now are upgraded and are repairing the beast is full health and the alamite pickaxe is moving on quite nicely so is that everything I did yes it is and I just thought of something that I would like to do um, while we're here is take one of our handy dandy torches <sighs> this lag my friends this lag it is ridiculous it is ridiculous it is just absolutely horrible. Okay, let's see. Come on. Jesus. Wow, great. So my magnum torches aren't in any of those chests. And, um, turns out that's... That we're lagging so much that if it's in one of these chests, I'm going to murder someone. There they are. Okay. I also built a builder's wand, that's why it didn't take very long for me to build that platform down there, because the builder's wand um, can place nine blocks at a time, which is extremely helpful when building giant platforms, and there's our mob farm over there, using conveyor belts instead of water, pretty much, same thing, instead um, we can have endermen fall, which is nice to have, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in the middle here, and place a magnum torch so that hopefully the slimes will stop spawning. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get slimes stop spawning. You jumped off, you went to hell. Okay, good. And I've been killing slimes for a while, that's why my that's why the beast is uh has like smite and and uh, life life taker, I think it's called life steal which is really nice to have cuz what it does is every time you hit a monster it gives you a certain amount of health for the amount of health that you did damage on kind of thing like it's a ratio it's not the exact same but it's it's nice to have um it really is really nice to have on a sword because that way especially when we go to the nether it's going to give us lots of health when we start fighting all those nasty mobs in the nether um, yeah, and the nether isn't as bad as, as many of you would think it, it is. Um, it's a lot better than you would think it was. But it is really bad once you start trying to mine the ores down there. It's, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. But anyway, so what I've been doing is crafting a bunch of stuff. I crafted up a crafting terminal, an access terminal, a controller, and a drive. And lucky for you guys, you guys get to see the fun part, making these storage units. I want to make a 16K, which needs a storage block, which needs three of these guys. 
which needs three of these guys, which needs that. Isn't that interesting? So we need, so let's see, 16K, 16K storage. So we need one times three, so we need three of those. So that means we need nine of those. So let's craft nine of them. How many can we craft? Four. Four? Really? It's because we got no redstone. Let's craft some more. Ooh, we can craft those. That's a nice amount. Eight, and then that's twelve in total. Um, let's go with eighteen. Okay, and that way we can make two 16k storage cells. Um, storage units, which would be really cool to have. Whoops, a daisy. 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 Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Redstone again. We do use up a lot of redstone for this. And now we're low on those processors. So we're gonna need you, 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 more redstone, and and some silicon and this is why we didn't we didn't do this um a long time ago when we didn't have an automated system getting redstone because we need a lot of redstone <laughs> like a lot of redstone my friends a lot of redstone now hopefully we're getting diamonds i turned on this one which good it's still it's still running um so that so that we can get a redstone because we're not really short on anything else yet I'm not gonna rash myself out and start saying that we're not short on anything else because we will will start running low on stuff very soon like I mean we're already running low on redstone why am I doing that I don't wanna do that I wanna do this ding 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 six of them nice now we want the storage block, which we're going to need some glowstone for. We can get two of them, and that's the most we can get because we don't have any more diamonds to use. And of course, glowstone's not going to be in there. We do have two diamonds in there, but but uh, those diamonds are... I'm trying to save my diamonds, unless I actually need them. You know, we're going to need all our glowstone, so let's just grab it all. And the lag is unbearably hard to play with. Okay. Storage block. Two of them. Nice. Now, 16k storage. Two of them. Nice. So now, we've got two 16k storage units. So in total, that's about... Ooh. That's about 32 and a half thousand bytes to store stuff and two stacks of 63 types so also I want to make a few 1k storage units uh, just simply because why not let's make three of them because we do need some space okay um, we need we need like you know how here I'll explain it to you because for those of you who haven't used a planet logistics before you won't you won't ever know this so it's good to get it out now good for you to know what's going on um, so yeah, basically what we've got here is we got the 16k storage, okay? And as you can see there, it says 0 of 16,384 bytes used, okay? Now each item uses up a different amount of bytes, okay? So like, every item doesn't use up one byte, which is why it's kind of hard to calculate how many items you can put in each, each item, each storage, um, but it is, it is, it'll allow you to use different amounts of bytes, right? So, so 16k is is a lot, and it's a good amount of storage. Okay, that's the second highest you can get, I think, right? Yeah, second high. No, can you get this? This one, two by two by two. Oh, these are spatial storage. Spatial storage. I mean, sorry. Yeah, so th that's the second highest you can get. The highest you can get is a 64K, which uses up a storage cluster, which needs three storage blocks. So as we saw, that's going to be about 27 storage of these little storage cells. 
that's a lot. Plus, we're going to need three of these, so that's three more diamonds for 64K. 64K uses 65,000 bytes stores compared to the one compared to the 16,000, which is it's a lot more, obviously, about four times the amount, actually, exactly four times, actually. Um, but the reason why we're going with 16K, obviously, is because we don't have the diamonds to do it. We got two diamonds left. That's it. We're done. Okay. Now we can we can use this. We can shift click this and get and and uh use it to create to create a um a 64k like we can use it to get our storage block back and upgrade up to a 64k if we wanted to. But 216k or 416k will actually be better. Okay, now it may not for 416k we'll use up one more diamond to get the same amount of bytes, but you're also going to get three, 63 types each time. So, so you notice how, like, okay, so you got soda quartz dust, okay? It'll stack up as many as it needs for the amount of storage it has. But, that soda quartz dust is one type. Okay, if we have 63 types of storage, then we can only store 63 items. Okay, now it can store as many of those items as it wants, but only 63 different types of those items. Which is why we're making these 1K storage units. So that way we can get 63 types times 3 times 5. There. So we got 5 of them. So that's 5 times 63. 63 types. So that's a lot. That's a lot of storage. Okay, we're going to stick to that for now. Now, that's not the only thing we're going to want to do. Because remember, it's not all about the storage. Applied Energistics is a lot about the crafting methods that we get that we get from it. So let's take a look at the crafting methods. So we got the way we do this is we can take these containment walls, okay? And these aren't very expensive, but we can use these to build a frame so that we can build up a nice little crafting center, okay? Now, off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a nice area, a nice house kind of thing where we can put all of our cool stuff. Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking in that direction we're going to do it. And we're going to do kind of a, like, I want to do like a factory. And then a house. And then maybe like a power plant or something like that. Because with this, with this, with the ability that we have now with Applied Energistics, we're going to be able to speed this up. Well, not really. Like, the most we can get is five autonomous activators on it. That's the way we're going to go. But... We're going to be able to speed up the rate at which it comes out of the vacuum hopper. We're going to be able to speed up the rate at which it cooks it, because we're going to use pulverizers and furnaces instead. And um, and we're going to be able to speed up everything, pretty much. We're going to be able to teleport liquids. We're going to be able to use uh, the ME liquid system that it has. And and just a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Okay, so, so, uh, so I'm going to do that off camera. But on camera... I want to build up something. I want to build up like a sustainable system and I want to craft everything we're going to need. So if we were to make, I want to make a re reasonably big crafting center. So we're going to do a 5 by 5 by 5 by 5 um, block, which has 2, 3, 4, and 1 higher is 5. So that way we can get um, everything we really want here going on. And we started at 50 blocks of cobble, right? Started at 50 blocks of cobble. So this this is the shape at which it's going to form. So we're going to need to build this up. We're going to need to use those containment walls to build up something that looks like this. Okay. And fill in all the corners and everything like that. And we have six left. That means we use 44, 44 blocks of cobblestone to build this structure. So if this is how big we want it, we're going to need 44 containment walls. Let's see if we have enough. Enough for 10. Good enough. Let's grab some more gold and see how many more we can make. And bum 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 bum, eight more. Cool. Still need more gold, and we're going to need more iron, and we're going to need more of the crystals of the Certus Quartz. Okay, now the Certus Quartz is the easy part, because like a stack, we're not even using a stack here. 
of them. Um, so that's not a big deal. But the big deal... Ooh, we got some more diamonds. That's nice to have. Um, but the big deal here, like I said, is the iron and gold. So let's grab some more gold and some more, some more iron here. We do have lots of iron, don't worry, because we've got a stack of iron blocks, which we can always convert if we need to. How many can we get? 33 more. Okay. Well, I got 18. What do we need now? Well, we need 26, right? Is my math right? Yeah, we need 26. So, let's get you down to 26 and do that. 44. Nice. That's the amount we need, right? Good. Now, how do we double check? Well, we build it. Let's go ahead and build this guy. Now this, as you saw, it's it's pretty expensive. Like, that was a lot. Like, 4 times 44 um, gold and iron. Right? Because you need 4 of them each. So that's a lot. It's a, it was a lot of gold, a lot of iron to do it. And you may think, okay, thank God it's over, but it's not over yet. This is just the frame. Okay, this is, we are not even close to the end. The end is when we start getting to the complicated stuff. So we're going to go one, two, three, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. You can see the stutter of this lag. It is absolutely horrible. Come on, let's go. Come on. I'm gonna have one extra, I bet. Unless I just didn't pick up one of one of these cobblestone blocks. Which I probably didn't. Okay, seriously lag, please stop. Thank you. Just stop long enough that I can build this. So, um, um, let's see, do this, and then we've got our four corners, nice, so it looks like we have enough, actually, looks like we didn't make any more or less than we needed, now they're not going to connect, these dots will connect, and that's how you know that it's completed, and that's going to happen once you fill it up completely, now it is a multi-block structure, and um and that's and that's what we need now. That means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no Okay, sorry about that guys. Um we got a little bit of had a little bit of an issue there. Um but so yeah, so we got six faces times nine. What's six times nine? Oh boy, come on Ryan fifth grade math coming back coming back to you six times nine it is ba -ba -ba -bum. I don't care I will figure that out later I need to figure out how much we need though come on let's go okay so heat vents uh oh uh oh need ME cables damn it ME cables are quite expensive to have to make I need a boop ton of them Okay, we're going to need a ton of them. So, let's take a look here. So, we need 54 of them. Okay. That, does that sound right? Yeah, sounds right. 54. So, we're going to need more glass, because that's the that's the piece of it, the puzzle that we're missing from this guy. Because we've got enough fluid dust. I think we do. Well, you, you are my sand generator. Thank you very much for generating me lots of sand. Sand is delicious. I love it. I actually hate sand. It gets stuck everywhere when you go to the beach and it's disgusting. But it's nice for making glass. Pretty cool. So let's get going with this. Smelt them both up and get lots of glass going. Now we're also going to need more fluid dust which means we're going to get this plastic that we made. This raw plastic and put that to use hopefully. Please work. So, flux dust. How do we make that? We can use plastic. 
to make it, but we don't have nether quartz dust. No, we have nether quartz dust. Redstone. Nope. Got redstone. So does quartz dust. That's what we're missing. Oops. Boom. And we get times four instead of times two if you use plastic. So that I would recommend using plastic as well with it because it's it's a small price to pay to get that amount that you'll actually get. Okay, and 43. Still not quite enough. What am I gonna do? Um, oh, we're just missing glass. That's why. I was gonna say, really, we're out of flux dust again. Come on, glass, cook up, please. Goodness gracious, we've got a lot of work to do, guys. A lot of work to do. Okay, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be big. Um, I just want to check something real quick here. Here, please, quick, help me check this. That, that, okay. So that we can delete. Okay, I will be right back, guys. I've got a phone ringing.